close my light. Hi. Yay, summertime. All righty, we're live. Hello, everyone. Welcome. You guys know what day it is. It is our favorite day of the week, Wellness Wednesday. And today, Shandi and I are sipping pretty, aren't we? Yes. So we have our mocktails. I will be sipping on my mock um, green apple margarita. And I made that with one of my favorite limited time, uh, limited edition energy fizz flavors, which was the green apple. And then anytime you want that nice little margarita taste to it, you combine any fizz with a high, complete hydration. And so it gives it that nice margarita kick. And so I, <laughs> Because of the huge announcement today, which we'll talk about, we just have to share. I know we need to stay on topic, but my strawberry fizz heard about the new fizz flavor and got very insecure. Right. <laughs> so they were running head to head. Now it was strawberry up against this new flavor. Strawberry, you won and you got your turn, but guess what? But Strawberry was like, oh my gosh, what is going to happen to me? I said, everything is okay. We're still in love. You're still my favorite. So good. However, um, we're going to have a new friend come in town. So I just wanted you to know how much I love you. So I just went back to the Strawberry because I'm telling you, it was like a lot of intimidation Ooh, going hold on. Hold up again. Yours look, like a, um, yours look like a Mai Tai. Oh, how nice. I, I love it. And so thanks for the secret about the hydration. You know, I'm slow. I, I get on. I, I, it, it takes me a while to get um, on to the new thing. So thank you for the example the example always so i'm just excited i'm excited about today and i almost drank half of it just preparing for today We're supposed to sip so let's go ahead and tell them about the new friend that's joining our fizz family so i told you green apple was a limited time strawberry she i'm gonna call her she she was also a limited time and we rallied and got her as a forever flavor Cause so such a ruckus, cause such a ruckus. So she's permanent. And that's what I was telling her. That's what I was telling okay. her this morning. Like, it's okay yeah. because you're here forever. However, Ever. this and morning about 9.03 a.m. <laughs> 9.03 a.m. this morning, Easter time, I opened up my Facebook and it was watermelon everywhere. I mean, it was just, it was just, that's why I put on red today because it was my whole <laughs> Facebook timeline was just red, 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 red. And so we are so excited to announce, and then we're going to get on topic, but we have a new limited time flavor. And honestly, Petra, that's why we need to hurry up because I didn't get my order in before <laughs> this call. So I need to I know. Get So we got to hurry up and get our because order Because Arbonne folks, we do not know how to act. Typically, when it comes pretty to classy and sophisticated, but we can act a little savage when new limited time flavors come out. So we need to get that moving. All right. Um, Arbonne knows that now, so they make sure we have a good quantity for these limited um, uh, edition. And I have a confession. You know how much I love strawberry. But in the original vote, I actually voted for watermelon over strawberry. So I did. I did. Because I was like, oh, another berry. I want something completely different. And I wanted watermelon. So I was blown away about how just how delicious the strawberry was. And it didn't taste like any of the other berry flavors we had. So I can't wait for watermelon to knock my socks off. Yeah. And, you know, the MVPs get it ahead of time. And they're all talking about how it tastes just like a liquid Jolly Rancher. So anyway, uh, enough about our fizz. Maybe That's next what... week we can do fizz. We can talk about fizz and why it's so important and just talk about all of our different recipes. But let's stay on topic. Okay. Because, and I can't even believe I'm on Facebook now. right now. Pretty. We're sipping pretty. Well, so. true, 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 true. But I just can't even believe that right now I any foundation anything. I usually don't. I've done it twice, three times, three times. Come on Facebook without any base on my face. Look, that rhymed. Uh, <laughs> it's 
the fizz. Hey, this is my second fizz for the day. Okay, so it's the fizz. Um, but I'm just blessed by my skin right now because I, I, and I know we're not talking about skin elixir today, but okay, that it is officially, officially in my top five. Okay. Because I don't have a thing on my face. This is my no no thing on my face side. Um, and you guys see I have a different backdrop today because I want it to get all the way in the natural light because I want you to see how phenomenal the product that we're um, featuring today, just how it is. And I want it all 100% natural light. I have no light bulbs on in my place. And so this is raw skin. Wow. This is second nature skin. It's gorgeous. Like... Look, she's so <laughs> proud. Like, <laughs> I'm proud of my like naked skin, but this right here is something else. I love this product. I told you guys I was living with this secret of um, not being able to share with you guys that this product was um, in production, and I love, love, love it. What I also wanted to show Shandi was that when it comes to color matching and talking about like what this pressed powder does um, and just bases in general. So Shani's like, oh my God, my skin is awesome. I love it, it's perfect. Like I can walk around like this. But what a base does is actually give us an even more flawless finish, almost to the point of where it looks like a photo. And so what I did was my face is half and half. And I want you to see that there is some um, unwanted color in my natural skin that needs to be neutralized. And that is the point of a base. So a lot of people think like foundation gives you your complexion. No, it's supposed to get the it's a bits of color, whether it's redness, whether it's dark spots and discoloration. Um, some of us, it may be even, um, <clears throat> you know, if we're more fair, you may see blue veins, especially under the eyes, right, or on the eyelids. And that is what a base is for. It's to neutralize out anything that is showing up in your complexion that's unwanted. So that's why you see raw skin. It's great. Wow. <laughs> right? Isn't that crazy? Hey, hurry up. <laughs> And so I wanted to show, because when I put this on, you may be like, well, the powder is not really your complexion. No, because there's unwanted colors in my complexion that needs to be neutralized out. And so a lot of times when people are matching, they're like, mm, it, it didn't look right. It, and it won't necessarily look completely right on just a small swatch. You may have to cover all your face for you to really see it, right? Because now we see like, oh, this is great. This is fine. But if I had just done a little patch, you'd be like, mm, that's a little too light. Okay, so first thing, Shandi, I'm gonna talk about. So you know your match, um, your shades, and so you're good to go. But for everyone else, I wanted to talk about like, how do we match our base? And we never do it to the back of our hand. Most of us are right-handed. We test things on the left hand, which is the driving arm in the US. And so that arm is always nice and tan. The other problem is even on the inside of your arm, does it matter? If you're like me that live in Miami, my arms belong to somebody else. They're like two shades, three shades on some days, darker than my face. And most of us are like a Mrs. Potato Head. Our face, our neck, our decollete, the rest of our body, they don't quite match completely, right? So when we're matching for a base, we want to do our swatch along our jawline because we want the closest match between face and neck. If we only match it somewhere up here, it can match our face, but what we're gonna end up with is a masked look and you're gonna see a line of demarcation. So that's why we're also gonna do a little bit of contour today. So I'm gonna show you guys what tan looks like on me. And so if I did tan and then I'm gonna do dark, and then I'm going to do deep. And deep, I love you, <laughs> right? And then I'm going to do deep. We can clearly see that dark is the one that kind of melts away into my skin. Again, it may look a little light for now, but this is what it turns out to be once 
it neutralized out all the redness in my skin, right? So this is what we want because we want that perfect match. If I did deep, that's way too dark and tan is way too light. So that's how we match. So first things first, Shandy and I are only gonna wear powder today, but we're in that 40 and over club. So we always just want a little bit of lift to our look and we're gonna do that with concealer. So grab your concealer, Shandy. And I'm gonna grab the concealer brush. And so we're gonna take a little bit of concealer. I don't like to dab this onto my skin because it's wet and it goes back in a tube. Um, I just like to use a brush and take some off so that I can keep that really nice and um, bacteria free. And so I want you to pat like one row right under your eyes. Let everybody know I'm a concealer virgin. She's a concealer virgin, guys. Okay. <laughs> and then <laughs> I want you to do one okay. row. What's left on the brush, I want you to do a second and a third row without putting any more product. Right? And just, mm -hmm, just pat it on. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pretend like it's a little mask and we're going to move it up and out. And I'm gonna get all the way up on the hair. I already have on some eyeliner. I'm almost out. I use it to prime my eyes. And so we want, you know how our gel eye patches look? That's what we want it to look like, a big gel eye patch, right? Many of us only do a half moon under our eyes and that's gonna bring attention to the fact that we um, haven't had good sleep since the jerry curl was out, right? So oh. what we want is to create that, <laughs> that gel eye patch look with a, a, a nice triangle. And then we're just gonna blend that in. So you don't need too much. How far up? I mean, did I? Yep, all the way to the lash line. I have some eyeliner on and that's okay. And then we wanna bring it down right to those cheeks to start creating a nice lifted look to the face, right? So you see, we create this Nice little look. Oh my. Nobody knows that we only run on fizz. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Concealer so now you going into the cart today. Okay. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay. And so now Shani can do that really, really quick. If she wasn't on here chatting with you guys, she'd have okay. done that in seconds. And then the next thing, she's just gonna put her. Um, shade of second nature powder just all over including over that concealer oh wait you use deep right okay so now I want you to grab your dark and I'm gonna grab my tan and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put one shade lighter over our concealer because we we were up till 2 a.m. last night closing out the month. So because we need a little extra help, we're going to do some highlighting. So we're gonna use a lighter shade. For me, that's tan. For Shandi, that's dark. And we're just gonna pat right over that concealer. Everywhere we put that concealer. Everywhere, okay. Uh-huh, so where the concealer is. So all the way up. I'm just gonna touch up this side a little. Your brush, okay, you gotta, you know, you gotta tell me. Yeah. Oh yeah, your big powder brush. Just flatten it out and just get all the way up in there. And make sure you're going up in a 45 degree. We wanna lift this sucker up. We wanna hoist it up, that's right. We wanna make sure we're always moving up and not down, otherwise our face is going to look droopy and we don't want that. Okay, and so that's really quick, easy peasy. And then now we're gonna go on with our overall um, shade for me that's dark and for Shandi she's got that nice sexy deep I love deep so um, Victoria could you <laughs> yeah this we're is, the same mm -hmm. um can you see where I'm a little oily right there because I want people you can see it on the okay. we see that that shine we see the glow yes so this what I do love which is why we're talking about it it's summertime and it's perfect time for oil control, right? So we want stuff that's gonna, um, not oil control, but shine control. We can't control the oil production with makeup, but we could control the shine that shows up. And so now we're gonna take um, your powder and just go over your entire face.
so we have our brows done. Amen. Because y'all do not want to see us with our brows. And we have on the oh. mascara and lip color. And that's it. Okay. And then you want to get right to the hairline. And that's fine with a powder because the granules are just going to fall into the hair and not paint it. If this were a cream base, I would not say take it all the way to your hairline because you're going to end up painting your hair, especially if you're blonde. So you want to do that with a powder along your hairline. Oh, let me cover these up a little swatches. Should I do my neck a little bit too? Or no? I'm not a necker because that... Um, <laughs> That gets your clothes, but you can do Shandy just a little bit with right, right under the chin, not necessarily the neck. You okay. can do that. Chin. Now, what I I do under my chin is I shadow that sucker out, okay? Because it's a little. I got more than one chin, so I only need you to see one. And so I do a little bit of contouring. I can do that with the deep, and so I'll create just a little shadowing under there. And then I'll do a little contouring right along here. And Shandy, I'm going to teach you and all my deep girls a trick, okay? Because you're like, well, how do I contour in here when deep is the darkest powder? Okay, so I'm going to do a little science demonstration. <laughs> do you know how I'm so against applying your makeup with your Thank fingers? Moms. Yes. I'm going to show you on Shandi why we don't do that. Okay. okay, I shouldn't have put my deep there, but it's a little too late. But I'm going to go ahead and take some of my dark on my fingers, which is my natural shade. And Shandi, you're going to do the same. Just get some of the powder on your finger. Mm -hmm. I just do my middle finger because it's the longest. And then what I want you to do is just rub it and jiggle it, like literally jiggle it right where you would want to do that contour and you're going to make it get hot and do you see how dark it's getting wow. ladies this is why you do not apply your base with your fingers because the oils and the heat from your fingers are going to cook the product it's literally going to cause a physical change and it gets darker so unless you wow. intentionally want to darken your base do not apply it with your fingers. So Shandy, you huh? Okay, first of all. <laughs> you can see it. Oh my God. Yeah, I, the only time I get contoured is if Petra's with me. <laughs> I mean, I have she doesn't a, know the magic that I do to do it. She doesn't realize what I'm doing. I a makeup counter in 15 years, okay? So, I mean, I have never <laughs> contoured myself before ever, and that was just the easiest thing I've ever done. Okay. <laughs> this is why we're sipping. Y'all, honestly, it is fizz. These do not contain any alcohol. <laughs> oh, see that. Okay. I'm looking for my bronzer stick now, because I'm like, I want the whole about to your contour up, okay? But guys, do you see why I'm so adamant about do not, do not, do not apply, okay. especially my yeah. oily combination girls, do point. not apply your base with your fingers. But all of my deep sisters, you can get a bit of contouring out of this. You could go along your hairline as well, just to contour it a bit, right in there, get right where, where you feel the joints and you just create some heat if you need it to contour a little bit down here. You would add that heat, and that's how you get your deeper deep. Okay. Did you see that? That was a real tear. Okay. <laughs> okay. Stop. Okay. Now, where do I do it? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, where else? Where else? Okay. Where so else? We use contour along our hairline, so you can pick up a little bit more powder. Um, because you're adding powder. You're not um just using your darker powder. You're um part of that you have on. So add some more to your finger, and you could just go ahead and create that and move it towards your hairline so you can do that's it like real. You see, that's real. <laughs> okay, seriously, give me a second. Me too, I am like, <laughs> look, I'm looking around like there's anyone to bring me some ice water. <laughs> I live alone. Okay, wait. 
Okay, so guys, I'm serious. I'm so serious. You know, you're like, like oh, no, I'll just no. quickly rub on my makeup and I just put on my CC cream real quick with my fingers. Don't. That's why it doesn't look the, the, the right shade when you're done. And that's why you're like, oh, it looked great when I first put it on, but then it changed into something else. You changed it into something. Well, first of all, can y'all see my whole face now? Look at this. Okay, go back to the, okay, give me the rest of the face, please. <laughs> well, where do we con I'm sorry, I'm looking at all of my skin and my skin. cheekbone. Okay, so. Okay, so darker hair along the hairline, and you could do along the jaw. And this is why we don't need to really put, like paint our neck. <laughs> we don't want to do that because it'll get on our clothes. But we can just darken it a little to create that nice shadowing. So we don't. <laughs> Cut, can we to go to commercial break? Can we, do we have a sponsor? Oh, Arbonne, okay, wait. <laughs> Arbonne's new lip duos. I'll do a commercial while you get it together. Arbonne's new lip duos. Okay, and guys, all right, this is what I'm wearing on my lips. I'm actually using um, the two new lip duos in Bloom and Floor. I actually use the matte part of Bloom. Do you see that like nice little liner? It's not a lip liner. I use the matte of Bloom um, to line my lips. And then I added the new Cherry Blossom Bouquet John, y'all keep with the commercial. You got about 30 seconds. Okay, then I added bouquet <laughs> overall. And then I just dabbed a little teensy bit of fleur right in the middle. Let heat do what it does. And that is my lip color, y'all. I actually have on three lip things. But um, I wanted to try that combination. So now back to our regularly scheduled program. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Was it planned? All right. So, are you happy that you feel contour? I'm kind. Do y'all see? It looks like I have a cheek. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay. All right. So, how do I put my cheek color on top of this? Is it okay? So, re no. Remember, we always talk about our Neapolitan ice cream, right? Chocolate, vanilla, strawberry goes in the middle. So, it's chocolate, strawberry, okay. vanilla. I've never oh, used it. So we can use this, or I have my Merlot. I just happen to have them here. Which one? Mm -hmm. Let's do it with all the powders. Since we're doing just powder and no cream really on our um, face today, let's go with the powder. So let's go with Merlot. I love Merlot. Okay. Look at and I'm in a different station. My makeup's all the way over there, so. Okay. But that's why I do like that cream stick because it works like, remember back in the day when your mama used to put lipstick on your cheeks? That's really what that that cream, <laughs> that um, blush cream does. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and just sneak and put a little bit of bouquet the old school way. And then, you know, I'm a brush junkie. So I'm just gonna work that in with a brush. Okay. I don't wanna mess up my contour. So. You're not, it goes right on top. It goes right above it, like right above it, right. And voila. And so Shandi has learned. She's, a, the, she's an advanced student of mine. So she knows that we do not put a base on our face without adding some flush to our cheeks, which is why she quickly grabbed her blush. I am so proud. Gold star for you. I'm so proud of you. Right? Because once we cover our skin with a base, you see how much we were laughing? You know, we would get blushed right there. Um, we would get a little bit of flush. And so once you put that base, what it does is it turns you from three dimensional to what we call casket ready, just very flat, right? And that's why we use the concealer to work with the lights to start giving us dimensions so that we don't look flat. Um, and my chocolatey girls, especially, we need to do that to make sure that you just don't look like, um, you know, a flat chocolate bar. And my very fair um, women, we also need to do that so that we're not looking like just something flat, like a piece of paper, right? We need to have dimensions in, to our skin, to our face, right? We're three dimensional. And so that's why we need light and we need a little bit of dark. And that's how we end up actually looking very natural. People think if I leave the blush off, if I don't do any contouring, I'll look more natural. No, it makes the eye say, I see you have on a base. 
instead of I just see beautiful skin, right? And that is what we want. That's our goal, just radiant, glowing, summer ready skin. So Shandi, cheers to you that you got your contouring on today. Salud. Yeah. I'm impressed. It's I told you, sipping pretty today. So guys, drop your questions below. Make sure you get your watermelon um, fist sticks. We are not responsible and liable if you miss the boat. That is not going to be on us. We warned you early enough in the day. Um, but don't worry. I'm sure we have um, supplies to last us at least uh, a couple weeks. <laughs> but um, grab your watermelon. Get with your consultant to find... Um, your best match. My golden rule is um, with the powder, it's better to go a little bit. If you're caught between two, it's better to go with the deeper color than the more fair color. And I'll also share why. So um, what makes these different from mineral powder is clearly that they're pressed, right? And so you need a binder in order to get them into this. Okay, and these two, I'm trying to, you can't really open them wide. These two look really, really close, right? They almost look close. They almost look like they're the same thing. And so I know that I would go with the deeper one because the binder, if it were a mineral powder, I'd be okay with this because a mineral powder is gonna allow my skin to show through a bit more versus a pressed powder is gonna give me more coverage. And so it's smarter to go with the deeper in a pressed powder because there are binders in here and it's not the same as a mineral powder. So guys, thanks again for tuning in to another. <laughs> and she calls me Victoria. You wonder where her five-year-old gets her from. It's not me. I mean, she may have like my attitude. Just she... earlier this week, she was telling me I needed to get some lashes and stuff because I needed to be a little bit more spicy. So wait till I show her my- Ow! Spicy, and we didn't even do your your highlighting um, palette. We didn't do anything. We just did second nature skin, and and that's what I love about this powder. When it was um, launched last month, I was like, wow, what immaculate timing! A lot of us don't really want like a cream on our skin now. Although our pollution defense CC cream is a cream, it wears pretty matte to me. I absolutely love it as a true oily combination girl. But this right here. Well, I, the other day for Father's Day, I, I, while Adrian was at church. <laughs> no, go ahead. I'm listening. While Adrian was at church, I was grilling and getting everything. I mean, I was so hot, but I didn't want to look a mess. So I put on the powder before I grilled. Mm -hmm. And you all, when I came in, I just looked perfect. I mean, Come I'm on, first lady. Perfect. Always put together. No, uh, but I could not believe it. And I kept telling them, I'm like, look at my face. Cause normally I'm just like, you see the oil, you saw a little bit of the natural oils before mm -hmm. we started. And it's usually just pouring when I'm over there. Plus I'm having my own little personal summers, you know, now and then. And so I, I just cannot believe it. This powder and I, as soon as it came out, I called Patch. I was like, you know, I, I, a dirty secret. I've never used pressed powder before. She was like, you are going to love it. And you all, I am serious. I can just wear powder and I am good to go. Mm -hmm. so and it gives such awesome coverage like you know i'm a i'm a cream plus powder I, i'm a layer type of girl i love the the coverage of a cream i love how creams help to um, neutralize out and then the powder gives that finish this is sort of like a powder to cream back to powder all right it's it's, it's magical i don't know what it is it's just I, I love, <laughs> um and i do love the way it it wears on the skin it is very natural I um, had the honor, thank you Camille for entrusting me with that, of um, actually having several shades that I use for over a year on different complexion guys. When I say I put this product to the test, I used it on GTC speakers who were under the lights of you know those stage lights at the MGM and just their hectic day. And so if you got a selfie, with Shandi or Dulce or Lisa Kumagai or Edith, they were wearing this powder. So if you got a selfie with them that day, that's this powder 
in action and their skin was still flawless hours later. And I know you guys get nervous and start sweating. <laughs> um, and, and those lights are like 210 degrees or something crazy. So I, we, I opened that night and I was like, I could not believe I still was able to wear my face. I didn't have to go and wash it all off. That's how incredible it was. So I'm just, you all have got to try it. You got Absolutely. to Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. you, Bridget. Thank you for my little tricks. I'm just so wait to show cool. I can't wait to see all my other deep girls um show their looks with it and um all of the shades were really well we have six shades fair light medium tan dark and deep and so there is a shade for everyone who's watching this thank you guys so much and we'll see you again next week for wellness Wednesday thanks Petra my pleasure bye, bye.